happens to be this week. The flow that we will practice today will be for mommies to be. And also I'm very blessed to have my mom here. So everything has come full circle in celebration of Mother's Day. Um, like I said, this flow is designed for mommies to be, but can be practiced by anyone. And we'll start with a couple of moments of meditation. So find a comfortable seat, Sukhasana, crossing one ankle in front of the other, and place the hands gently on the knees, closing the eyes. And the sit bones rooting into the earth. Gently opening the heart. Invite the shoulder blades to glide down the back. And lengthen the crown of the head to the sky. As we feel the transition from the rest of our day onto our mats, enjoy a couple of cleansing breaths. So feeling a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, filling up. Empty out, exhale. One more cycle, big breath in. Breath now traveling in and out through the nose. Let's place one hand over the space of the heart, and one hand over our belly. Start to notice the wave of the breath here as it flows from the belly to the heart and back again. So already we can begin to establish this heart connection with the womb center. Welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. When you're ready to slide the hand that rests at the heart down to the belly as well. So now both hands are cradling the womb. Notice how this simple act of placing the hands over an energetic center can start to generate some warmth. And you might begin to make some small circles. Allow the hands 
hands to come back to the knees. Move them to keep the eyes closed or you can open in a soft gaze. Lift the shoulders toward the ears. Move them back and down. Several cycles rolling shoulders up by the ears. Continuing with your breath rhythm. You can make the shoulder rolls as big or as little as you'd like, perhaps exaggerating a bit. back to a neutral place, spine long. Take your right fingertips by your hips and drop your left ear to your shoulder. And so you can play here with the position of the chin, turning, turning it down or turning it up. Finding that space in the neck where you meet some resistance. Allowing the breath to move into this space. Invite some softening and release. You might dance between a couple of places. Feel a neutral place here, and now drop the chin into the chest, breathing length into the back of the neck. And the shoulders melt away from the ears. Thank you. 
breath, inhale, you rise. So draw the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana, knees are wide. And again, placing the hands on the knees, and just start to make some circles with the spine. So opening the heart forward, shifting over to the right. And as you draw back around the spine, navel pulls in, chin can drop, shifting to our left. And as you come forward, you can open the heart here between the window of the arms. So rolling around to the right, pounding to the back, shifting to our left, and forward again. So continuing a few cycles. Again, you might close the eyes here. We're feeling a half gaze. Start to invite a sense of fluidity into the spine and body. One more time in this direction. neutral, we'll shift to the left, so we come forward first, moving to the left, rounding into the spine as we tilt back, over to the right, and forward again, several cycles. match the rhythm of your breath.
So my right heel will draw in, the left leg opens out to the side, left fingertips by our hips, right arm sweeping. Inhale to the center, exhale to the right. Keeping our left foot flexed as we move. Feel that we are firmly rooted into the earth and allowing space for the upper body to flow with ease. And again, you might stay here. Breathing into the side body. Or the next time that the left arm sweeps overhead, we can press up onto our shin, open the heart, and come down to our seat. And left fingertips to the earth, right arm overhead. Rising, and big drink of breath. Continuing with your breath rhythm. You can start to feel this become more of a free flowing movement, letting go the idea of what this shape is supposed to look like. Just enjoying how it feels in the body. So one more cycle.
Coming back to a neutral place. Tuck the toes and send your seat to your heels. Press into the hands, start to straighten the legs and peel your hips to the sky from the downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And to make space for baby, you can take the feet a little bit wider than the hips here. Perhaps pedal the feet, moving into the backs of the legs. You might shake the head, yes and no, releasing any excess tension in the neck. You can open and close the mouth, relax and release through the jaw. So any movement that calls to you in this shape, enjoy. Couple more breaths. Eventually feeling a place of stillness. Palms rooting into the earth, the base of every finger. Heart is lengthening back toward the thighs as the thigh bones press back. And heels extend away from the toes and down toward the earth. Very slowly start to walk your hands back to your feet. If you need to, soften the knees to get there. You'll feel a forward fold at the back of the mat so you can clasp opposite elbows. Maybe sway side to side. If you need to get into the shoulders today, clasping hands behind the back, press the palms. Lengthen the arms overhead and then find a little shimmy in the shoulders so that you can get deeper. Last full breath. We 
mindful to keep the tail lengthening toward the earth. Last deep breath. As we release, we'll gently step our left toes behind our right, so the shin is pressing into the calf. Catch your left wrist and crescent over to the right, bend into the knees. Good. Creating more space. And you can use the right hand to draw you a bit deeper into the shape. Inhale, rise. Left knee comes back in toward the chest. Hands can be at the heart or for more balance to the waist. Soften the right knee and carefully step back into a high lunge. So you can make it a short stance as you step back and then lengthen out. So we're on the ball of our back foot, left thigh bone pressing to the sky. As you're ready, inhale, arms rise. And then take them out to a T, turn the palms up, and the hands will pass the line of the shoulders so we go further into the heart. Beautiful. Feeling a gentle pulse here. Very carefully dial your back foot flat and open up into Virabhadrasana 2. You might have to wiggle the feet a little here. We want the right heel in line with the left arch of our foot. And pulsing in warrior two, you might bring the hands back to the belly. Exhaling, going deeper into the shape. Feel the left thigh bone pressing to the wall behind you. So engaging the back leg. As you're ready, full bear two. Straighten the right leg, turn the toes to the long edge of your mat, and then bring the heels in, toes out, bend the knees, and slide the hands down the tops of your thighs. In a high malasana shape. Close the eyes here. And you can feel that gentle sway side to side. Every exhale, deepening into the hips. Rise. Turn your right toes back out 90 degrees. 
Arms to a T, drink a breath in. Trikonasana, reach past the right toes, press your hips left. Then allow the hand to settle on the shin, left fingertips directly above the shoulder. So we're keeping hand on the shin here to make space. Feel the right thigh roll open. Draw the navel in and open the heart. Lengthening the tailbone toward the left heel. Allow awareness to 
rest in this place. On our breath. Feeling full, bear up to. Straighten the legs, turn the toes to the long edge of your mat. Heels in, toes out, hands on the thighs, sink down high malasana. Close the eyes. Turn to that gentle sway, side to side. Every exhale, deepening into the hips. Imagining that you can Send your breath to the lower portion of the body. Hands to the waist, inhale, we rise, toes forward. This cycle, clasp your hands behind your back, press your palms. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, forward. And extend the arms overhead as if they could find the earth. Another variation with the arms calls to you in this moment. Enjoy. You can also clasp the big toes here. Still feeling the shoulders move away from the ears. Bringing our fingertips under our shoulders, inhale, lift and lengthen. Soft bend in the knees, hands to the waist, we rise. Both legs straighten now as we turn our left toes forward. Arms to a T into Trikonasana. So reaching, hips tilt to the right. Left hand to the shin for more space. And right fingertips directly above the shoulder. Good. Feel length on both sides of the body. The left thigh rolling open, navel to heart opening. Two more deep breaths here. Inhale, slowly rise. Take as many steps as you need to. Come to the top of your mat. Hands to the heart, close the eyes. Feel a deep inhale through the nose, and exhale out of the mouth, let it go. So we will enjoy the same sequence both sides, this time moving more one breath, one movement. So with our right foot rooted into the earth, inhale, lifting the left knee. And placing it into our tree shape. Choosing a place for the arms. Maybe on an inhale the tree grows. Feeling strong in the low body so that we can rise up tall. On your next exhale, left shin steps behind your right calf. Catch your left wrist and crescent to the right. Inhale through center. Once again, lifting the left knee. Exhale, stepping back into our lunge. Take your time. Inhaling, arms to the sky. Open wide and expand across the heart. Big breath in. Exhale, feel warrior two. Settle in, warrior two. Hands to the belly here, just for a breath. Coming back. 
back out for your head too. Straighten the legs and turn the toes forward. Feel your high malasana, heels in, toes out, hands down the thighs. Coming back to the waist, straighten the legs, toes forward. Big drink of breath into the heart. Exhale, pouring out over the legs. Head and neck release. Hands come under the shoulders. Lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and fold. Soft knees, we rise. Trikonasana, right side. Drink a breath in. Exhale, moving into the shape. And one full cycle here. Inhale, slowly rise. Good. And stepping top of the mat. Close the eyes. Take a deep breath in. Let it go out. As you're ready, right knee lifts. Finding your tree shape. Sideways grows tall. With an inhale, the tree might grow. On your next exhale, dance your right toes behind the left. Catch your right wrist. Exhale, crescent to the left. Inhale through center. The right knee once again draws up. Good. Exhale, stepping back into high lunge. Inhaling, arms to the sky. Exhale, and open into the heart. Drink a breath in. Exhale, turning into Vira 2. Good. And settle. Hands over baby. Full cycle of breath. Expanding back out. Straighten the leg toes forward. So you can clasp the hands again here if that feels good. Big inhale. Exhale, bow. Releasing hands under shoulders. Feel a lengthening breath in. Good. Turn the heels in, toes out. Slide the hands up the thighs. We almost forgot high malasana. One breath here. Hands to the waist, straight legs, toes forward, triangle shape to the left. Good. Arms to a T, drink a breath in. Exhale into triangle. And one full cycle here. Inhale, slowly rise. And carefully stepping top of the mat. Hands to the heart. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, empty out. This is a good place to recall our sacred intentions. Next exhale, releasing hands to the root. So open the feet up the width of your mat. Spin the heels in and the toes out. Inhale, breathing arms to the sky. Exhale, drop down into Malasana. So we'll move a bit in and out of this shape, but first cycle just taking a couple of breaths, using the elbows against the inner legs to help open. Pressing spine to heart and heart to thumbs. Lengthening crown to the sky. So 
Just as we did in our higher variation, we can feel that gentle sway side to side. On our cycle like this. And on the exhale, touch the earth. Forward fold, hanging over the legs. Inhale, slowly rolling up the spine. Breathing arms through the sky. Exhale into malas. Start to move now, one breath, one movement. Dropping the hands forward, fold. Inhale, slowly rising. End of the inhale, the arms reach overhead, and as you exhale into Mahasana, you can weave gently with the heart, a little arch in the spine. Breath in here. Exhale, touch the earth. Inhale, rise. So I'm starting to move now with your breath rhythm. And you might close the eyes once again here. Just enjoy. Take a breath in. Exhale, touch the earth. Rolling up. Two more cycles on your own. On this last malasana. Once again, settle in, close the eyes, lengthen the tailbone toward the earth as you extend the crown of the head to the sky. Last two cycles.
You're welcome to marinate here as long as you like. We will switch sides, so untucking our left toes, gently rising, very carefully coming off of our block. Moving through all fours to enjoy the second side. So the left shin comes forward. Not worrying again so much about the angle of our shin. The foot can be closer to our right hip. Lengthen through the right leg. Keeping the toes tucked. One block under our left seat. One block to support the top of our right thigh. Take your time. Big inhale here. As you're ready, exhale, surrender. Once again, feeling the shoulders moving away from the ears. The back of the neck is long. Remembering that you can stay here in this shape as long as you like. We will untuck our right toes, start to rise, removing the blocks gently. So let's find a seat once again. Turn to Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. And we'll use a block. And we're taking the outer edges of our feet to the inside edge of the block. And we still want the heels in nice and close, so either moving your seat or sliding the block toward you. So we notice when we raise the feet that we're getting into the outer edges of the hips. Take a deep breath in here. You can certainly stay upright or you can start to feel the fold. Recognizing that you may need a little more space. Not important how far we're folding more important that we are maintaining the integrity of the spine. The hands can also be around the feet if that helps. Moving shoulders away from the ears. And leading with the heart. Maybe with every exhale you find that you can 
long as you like. You will slowly rise. Moving our feet from the blocks. Now feeling Baddha Konasana with our feet on the earth and just noticing the difference. So taking a deep inhale, spine long. Breathing here or enjoying the fold. For an even deeper fold, then we walk the hands forward. So now we're breathing into the inner thighs of the groin. Remembering that you may need a little more space. Giving yourself permission to stay here as long as you like. On an inhale, we will rise. <clears throat> Coming back to a comfortable seat. Sukhasana with one foot in front of the other. If half or full lotus is available, you're certainly welcome to enjoy. And bringing the hands to the heart. Closing the eyes. Placing one palm over the heart space, one palm over the belly. Feeling the wave of the breath as it moves from the belly center to the heart and back again. Returning to this heart womb connection. Staying here or Sliding both hands to the belly, sending healing, loving energy. Turning to your sacred intention. Picturing this intention in your mind's eye or repeating it to yourself. And we honor our intentions and our practice together this evening. A single chant of Aum. Deep inhale.
Thumbs rise to meet the third eye. Namaste.